Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Dig D. This is going to be LA Land 3, round 2 of the winner's bracket. Nesh starting in the bottom right-hand corner as this very midnight blue. Terran upper, right corner, upper left-hand corner. Sorry, we have Zva starting as the teal Terran. I cannot color swap unless you want to see yellow versus yellow, which could get very confusing very rapidly. Actually, it's interesting. With this color swap, it looks like there is a bit of a difference, doesn't it? Like, this is like a brighter, shinier yellow somehow. This is like more a mute... Do I, I'm kind of tempted to try it now. I guess it's only the buildings. Maybe this is just my eyes playing tricks on me. Okay, here. We're going to F2, F3. No, they're different colors somehow. Is it just the lighting? Wow. All right. Anyway, we're going we're gonna to switch it back, though, because the units don't look any different. Anyway, Nesh, one of those guys that could upset Jiyun later in the bracket, he was looking particularly strong. Before, he kind of went inactive for a little bit. Uh, one of those guys who's also the developer out in the community. In Solid Dude altogether, I think he casted some of this live when it was uh, being broadcast on Jayun's channel live on Twitch. Solid Dude, he's been around forever. Awesome guy. Uh, Sva, fellow... I Oh, shoot, I'm obligated to root for Sva. Because Sva is a fellow moderator on Artosis' channel. So this this is where my heart is split both directions like who do i root for in this one do i have to remain neutral that seems unfair i'm gonna go with nesh just because i've known him for a much longer period of time and been following like nesh is one of the guys that like uh when i was getting into when i was getting into the foreigner scene at large nesh was a guy that was kind of on my radar uh in fact i'm trying to remember if nesh no it was um it wasn't Skew versus Nesh, it was... Uh, the very first game I commentated for in the Foreigner community, uh, Skew hopped, uh, got me in the game, and um, gosh, who was it against? I am forgetting the username, but I can. it's like I can see their... Whatever, I'll come back to that later. My brain is collapsing on me all of a sudden, maybe because it's later and later in the weekend, but whatever. Three SCV on gas, one of them pulling off half a second later to try to... I think Sva is thinking about going for a heavier factory opening, but he's trying to, like, hide the fact of what he's doing, saying, maybe I'm going for a quick command center now that this SCV is pulling out. I don't think Nesh is going to fall for it. Nesh, in the meantime, just straight up going for factory. He's pulled all SCV off gas to get a little bit of a faster command center, so maybe he did fall for it here. Um, but we do see... Yeah, I think this is still just the two SCV on gas. See if he returns it. There's the first factory out. Command center, or sorry, barracks being lifted to immediately start scouting. And yeah, I think Sva is thinking about going for the factory because he's scouting aggressively. So checking the bottom left-hand corner, finding nothing. Let's see, and that Marine's already forward out in the field. So we'll see if this is the case. He hasn't, yeah, still mining gas here. Which honestly would be necessary again. Like, I hope the two factory plays works, honestly. Because Nesh, uh, this is kind of an underdog situation now. Nesh building an initial vulture, but he's got that command center building. First Marine wandering out. It is going to be a Marine versus Marine fight. But also, as this wanders up, this will be able to confirm that there's a natural expansion there. So Marine, well, yeah, okay, sees it. Getting better shots. Nesh trying to retreat to the high ground so he can preserve. Because he knows, okay, you're going to get a few shots off on my SCV. But now that vulture is going to come down. And just do superior damage. But first factory up. First vulture making its way across. No movements towards the command center yet. So maybe Sva just making a mistake. And leaving that SCV in a little bit longer than he needed to here. So scooting out here. No, okay. I take it back. Ignore me. There it is. I knew there was something up. Building the... Uh, building a starport here. What do I want to call this? So 6, 7. Inside 7 o'clock location. At the mineral only here on the bottom left hand base. Building a starport. Nesh dropping a machine shop. Second factory currently has no anti air to deal with this wraith. And a second wraith moving forward, or sorry, second vulture moving forward. The barracks did in fact spot it. And now Sva uh, grabbing command center behind this. So might be able to get some interesting damage done. Two vulture. Second Vulture joining Marine off the field as well. SCV getting in the battle is on top of everything else. Group repair on that Vulture to try to send this back. 
And actually, I don't know that Spa managed to score an SCV kill there. Nesh still up three workers. Second command center not up. But the first Wraith now making its way out. Should be, be able to get some bonus kills. And keep in mind, this Marine isn't going to be much help. It's only got four health. So if it gets sneezed on, it will, in fact, perish. In fact, there's your sneeze. Oh, there was a moment where Nesh might have been able to get something in. But now the Wraith making its way across. And Sva having superior vultures on the front as well. So pushing in there, the Wraith going to go ahead, try to attack these SCV, building the engineering bay and whatnot. Nesh trying to mic our way around this. The barracks confirming that there is natural expansion up, so he knows this isn't going to be like a huge blitz of troops, so it's only the single Wraith to create some disruption. The vultures are making their way across, but now Sva in trouble because he's going to be outnumbered with vultures on the front and might end up losing some SCVs on his side of the map. Let's see if that draws the Wraith back. That might equalize Wraith kills. It's already managed to get two here. Still no engineering bay. I don't see an armory as of yet. There's the armory being built in that right-hand corner. Looks like Sfa was able to press that back, but Nesh gathering troops, doing a little bit of repair. So gonna try to equalize things by diving into the natural expansion and just getting better exchanges there. Yeah, now the SCV is gonna have to retreat. So Nesh, despite taking some damage here, still going to be able to remain economically ahead overall against this particular cheese. I love watching tournaments like this for this exact sort of thing, by the way. Because you don't get to see this in everyday play, you know? It's like, anyway. What works, what doesn't work. The this is kind of why I like Chobo League. Maybe I'll ask to do Chobo League next season. Again, because this is the fun stuff that, like, you just, yeah. You just see pulled out there. Where sometimes it worked, but sometimes it doesn't. And it's, like, it's just fun to watch. Sec two Wraith are out. This one has five kills. So an absolute hero. But Nesh, way up in supply. And now with that armory, should be able to produce some Goliaths, although it looks like the vultures are just absolutely devastating. Still here, devastating the natural expansion. Sva just getting obliterated as far as the raw SCV count. Sva going to GG right there. I kind of, I liked the idea from Sva, but I don't think that following up with that command center that rapidly was the play. Just, yeah, ended up leaving him a bit exposed. Maybe going for that command center a little bit later? I don't know. I'm not sure that... Uh, because I know just like straight up, you can go uh, try to do that counter build where you drop the, uh, you, you mix up both Vultures and Wraith, and then you just end up with a sizable advantage. Here, though, I think adding that command center was his doom. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Kind of a fun one. We'll watch game two in just a second. Thanks for listening.